everyone. I'm Erica Champion Wise, elite independent consultant with Paparazzi Accessories. Today, I want to show you how to create a Facebook story on your business page. This is not your personal page. This is your business page using your desktop. So I know a lot of us work from a computer, desktop, laptop, whatever. I've even been able to do this on my iPad and not always from our mobile device. So I have loved being able to upload and create my stories from my computer. Um, it just saves me so much time. I can just do it so much faster than typing on the phone sometimes. And when I'm on the phone, I go down the rabbit hole or the phone rings, you know, all that sort of stuff. Now, why do you want to use Facebook stories? They are absolutely effective. They are working. They're so much. Oh my gosh. They're working so well right now. And people are watching stories more sometimes then they're scrolling through the feed because the feed and its algorithm is just, it's something. And we know that. And so stories are a way around that algorithm. So I want to show you how I upload from my computer. So let's get started. Here we are. This is my business page, Erica C. Wise, comma, $5 jewelry. This is my business page. You can find me on Facebook if you want to. You can see kind of some of the things that I do in my story. Now I've already uploaded a few stories today because I've just worked on it this morning, but here's how simple it is. See the plus sign over my profile picture? If I click on it, this comes up. Da, da, da. create a story. Now you can type, you can say happy Friday. What are you up to today? Anything fun? And you can do it just like that. And I can put a cute little filter on it and then it will go to the story. Easy. That's an easy one to do. You can also post it to your newsfeed so you can do double duty. You can do like you can do that. So I'm going to go ahead and post that and see if what my friends are up to. And so the reason I ask a question is to get that engagement, get that comment back. And those answers to those questions will go to my inbox. And if someone cares enough to comment about my story, they like me, right? <laughs> they like me and I can engage with them and interact with them through that. And so let's do one with a picture. And one of the reasons I really love this on my desktop is I have so many more graphics saved. So let me, let me take you back through. I just skipped ahead. I have so much more saved on my computer than I do on my phone. The storage is so much larger, right? So create a story, go to photo or video. By the way, you can upload short videos. You can do all of this stuff, create an instant experience. This is a lot of fun. That's a lot of fun. And you can um, combine things together. It's, it's a lot of fun. You can do so much fun. But for this purpose, we're going to do just the simple graphics. Now, let me go to something that I've saved on my computer. I've got all sorts of things saved. <laughs> I've got so many things saved. I've got all these pictures saved. Oh, so much. Let's use this one. Let's do a flashback Friday, F, um, hashtag FBF, to that time when paparazzi gave me an amazing iPad for getting a And then always you can put your website link there. You never know who this will impact. And it's very simple. It's not saying come join my team. No, it's not saying any of that kind of stuff. It is very relatable. It is sharing a part of my story. It is sharing that for me is a big deal because I like practical things. I like things I can use. I am the wife that if you buy me a vacuum, I'm not going to be upset. And so this is very practical for me and very useful for me. I use it every day. It's on the charger now because it's almost dead. I've been using it so much. And I know that there's another me out there who loves the practicality and it will register in her that holy moly, paparazzi gave her an iPad Pro. What? That's a, that is, that's what I'm talking about when I say share your stories, share your success stories. This is a success story. And then you go share it and that's it. Now, 
on my desktop, I cannot watch stories. I have to go to a mobile device to watch the story. So I can't go back and watch from here what I've, oh, I lied, look, there it is. Oh, this is what happens. See, you don't know things, click around, you'll find out. And then here I can click the stories. By the way, bracelets make really good anklets. <laughs> These are the things that sell. People want to see regular people wearing them. This is where I earn 25% of the passport trip. You can flash through these if you want. I've got text down here that says that this is available on my website. There's the Happy Friday. We got people talking back to us. And then the iPad. And you can add as many as you want. Now, I'm going to caution you that you don't want to completely overwhelm your audience. A little goes a long way sometimes. And if you have those very powerful stories, those stories that evoke emotion, stick with those. <laughs> stick with those and try it out play with it. Now, so far I can't use it on my regular personal timeline, but I've been able to use it on my business page and it has saved me a lot of time because I mean, like I said, I work faster on my desktop. I have more and often better graphics saved on my computer than I have on my mobile devices. And it's just kind of one of those done, done, done kind of things and you're done. And I can double duty and there's all, you can play around with this. So I encourage you to play with the stories, to learn about the stories and to begin using them because they're working right now. And I'll let you in on a secret. My next step is to do flash sales in my stories. That's my next step. I'll let you know how it goes. If you're already doing flash sales, let me know how it goes. Uh, we will all succeed together. Have an amazing day. I'll talk to you later.